How's it going, you beautiful sons and guns? My name's the Dapper Saint, and welcome back to Amori. When we left off, we did a little bit of exploration around Fairway Town. We found some amazing things, such as the fact that we can pet a dog. Today, we'll probably find some more things around Fairway Town, but if I do miss anything, don't mind uh, leaving a comment or something, or leaving a like. It always says help. Heck, just tell me what you think of the playthrough so far. Truth be told, I don't even know where to start, because apparently we can knock on doors. Okay, we've been into this house, we've been into Chris's house. Let's go look around. Hello there, let us in. Okay, maybe it was a fluke. I will knock on every door in the name of content. You open now! I just realized there's a scooter outside these houses, so this must be actually where some of the other hooligans live. Ooh, maybe we can go check up on Aubrey, maybe? I'd like to be able to do that, honestly. Aubrey, you here being all depresso and shit? No, didn't think so. Hey, there's a seashell, though! It's a good thing the seashell came out of this body of water beside it, despite the fact the seashell's not being here. But hey, whatever, works for me! Maybe something's around Fairway Plaza right now. Let me just check something. Oh, I can't knock on it now, darn. Old man with glasses. I'm meeting up with someone, but they're late. Don't tell me that I've been stood up. Aw, oh, poor guy. Don't worry, you'll be a romantic man one day, maybe. Gotta look at the positives in life, and the fact that I can buy all these CDs due to all my money. Give me that. Give me that one, too. Do I hear three? Oh, I can only grab one at a time. I'm dumb. <laughs> all right, fine. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, we only have $50 left. That's gonna be all of our money. Sure, in the name of... I don't know. Achievements? I'm gonna get it. Oh, my fucking sternum. <laughs> and my money. God, vinyls are so fucking expensive. Alright, fantastic. I am successfully poor. Oh, yeah, so we do need to find that one little bit of electronics for this guy at some point. I have no idea how to do that, though. Uh, donate all your CDs to the jukebox. Well, I might as well. I'm glad we just paid $50 so we can, like, donate to Gino's Pizza. Oh, my God, so many CDs. How many did I have on me? Jeez. Yeah, I might as well play a song while I'm here. You know what? I want to do the otherworldly. I want to hear this, because I have a feeling. This is not what I was expecting. I like this, actually. What is this? This is different. Oh, man, I like this, actually. Holy shit. I'm Ray. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of all sorts. I know this song. This is a cover of Stardust Diving by Sam Neeland. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god, I love this. This is good. How about something chill? I like me a little bit of chill music. That's cute. Oh my. So are these just remixes of the original songs? Hell yeah, man. Ooh. A little bit high tempo. Where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? Sorry, I might skip this whole part out, or I might keep it in. You don't know yet. I wish this music just follow us, though. God, I want to be able to listen. Is that a cat? Hello, Mr. Cat. How goes it? Feed it some fish. I didn't know I had fish. Sure. Do not have any fish on you? Well, where do I buy fish? All right, new objective. Forget everything else. We are buying this cat some fish. Oh, maybe from you, perchance. Oh, no, I'm poor. No, I didn't have enough. I didn't think I'd need that money for anything. Shit. Uh... Look, there's a baby behind you. It's screaming. Watch out. Ooh, that was weird. Anyways, when we left off, we were gonna go give a cat some fish, because that was a thing that we could do, apparently, and I totally figured that out in the last episode. I'm seriously rolling back just so I can feed this cat. Oh yeah, I gotta go grab the fish first. <laughs> feed us some fish, hell yeah! You go, Mr. Kitty. I hope you enjoyed the fish. Oh, I got down. Oh, okay. He left a gift for me! What is it? Trash. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> well... I hope you enjoyed the fish, cat. Oh my god, that's funny. I really can't believe that freaking cat did that to me. He did me dirty, I want a refund. Alright, my life savings depleting slowly aside, uh, we still have probably a lot that we can find, so I'm gonna look around. Worst case scenario, I think we probably are supposed to go to Kel's house. Oh, I know that I was able to go into the artist's house, maybe I can talk to her. Oh wait, there's a person outside. I had my son go to the fix-it to buy a new lamp for m my living room, but he's taking his sweet time. He's always so slow with these things. I wish that someone would tell him to hurry up. I don't have all day. Well, I guess I can do that for you real quick, but I want to see if I can go in here. I got trash. Why is everybody giving me trash? Are they trying to say something? Whoa, Angel! <gasps> oh, how you dare challenge me? Ah, intruders! Oh, it's you guys. Whoa there, you got a pet rock? You have to challenge me to a clash! No one can defeat my saucy K. He's the best pet rock ever and I'll prove it. You're biting way more than you can chew. Come on, saucy K. Let's show who's stronger than one here. 
Angel, listen, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of built different. Oh, wow, that's actually quite strong. Okay, in this kind of circumstance, you're gonna blade it, and I feel like he's kind of dumb, so I'll probably, like, throw scissors or something. Oh, I, that was relatively sad, not gonna lie. Why did you only throw scissors? Remind me a lot of Pluto with Kel. <laughs> Saucy K! No! <laughs> you bully! Hey, wait a sec. Foo-foo. Now's the perfect time to challenge you to a rematch. Ready or not, here I come. Are you serious? Oh my god, really? <laughs> Alright, Angel. I did not expect you to fight us two times. Come on, Kel, let's kick his ass. First, I must focus. Imagine that you have a knife in your hand, Sonny. You'll do great, I promise. <laughs> I almost wish I had the pepper spray right now. <laughs> Alright, Angel. Sorry that you met your match in this situation, but it was a good fight. I do appreciate the fact that you wanted your rematch. But did you know, I was using this fight to study your strengths and weaknesses. The next time we fight, victory won't come so easily. Alright, Angel, whatever you say. He just reminds me of a kid that's probably a little bit too much into Dragon Ball Z. In other words, me when I was a child. Alright, well, I'm glad I got to beat up your brother. I guess I'll see you later. Basil, you doing alright? Oh, Dapper. There's no way out of this, is there? Are you okay? Jeez. Poor Basil. He's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please, get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. It's a bit of a shame. I feel like I missed out a lot on stuff when it, because of the fact I didn't do anything the first day. That makes me kind of sad, honestly. Which floor lamp should I get? Oh, it's you! The pink one? The blue one? Or the plain one? Fancy one? Hmm. What does it even matter? Well, it looks like trash to me anyways. You look a little upsetty. I, like, I hate decisions. I think I'm gonna throw up. That's a little bit excessive, don't you think? Who are you? Uh, what do you want? Oh, is my mom asking for me? Tell her to wait. I'm the one going out all this way just to pick up this floor lamp that I don't even care about. Besides, she's so picky. I don't even know why she just doesn't do it herself. Yeah, what a trashy situation. Floor lamps are trash. Tr you're trash! Well, that's kind of mean. Heh, yeah. It all makes sense to me now. This world. This world is nothing but trash! <laughs> is this the start of a villain? Hey, you. My mom wants her lamp so bad, why don't you get it for her? You got $50 from the strange man. Get her here. I've got better things to do. Alright, cool. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Uh, I can't do that to them. Okay, if I had to choose a lamp for the family, I'd have to say Fancy, because her name was fashionable, after all. Yeah, let's see what you have. Hmm, so you want to buy a floor lamp? It's going to be $50 or some shit. You still want it? Thanks for the business, bud. You got a floor lamp. Well, I guess we have your lamp. Enjoy it. You gave the floor lamp to the fashionable mom. Oh my, what a nice floor lamp. Thank you, you have impeccable taste. Aw, oh, well thank you, I appreciate it. Huh. Where's my son Billy? Did he go on one of his tantrums and run off again? Huh. <sighs> He's so temperamental. I wish he wouldn't make such a big deal out of everything all the time. Anyway, you're very thoughtful for getting this lamp for me. Please, come over anytime. I make a mean cup of coffee! Oh! <laughs> give me coffee, give me coffee, give uh, We're going right over, sorry guys. Where is it, where is it? Give me- mm. Coffee machine. Would you like to make a cup of coffee? Hell yes, I do! <laughs> you got coffee. Oh man, hell yeah. Where is it? Where, I'm gonna drink that right now. Hmm, who would enjoy the cup of coffee? I feel like Hero has a good acquired taste. Let's see how he feels about it. Coffee was hot and bitter, as expected. You don't know why people drink this. I will kill you! I don't know who the narrator was, but that was the inner thoughts of Sunny. I'm going to literally stab you. Alright, well, I just got done knocking on every person's door in the entire area of Faraway Town. Well, at the end of the day, at least we got some coffee out of it, so I feel like this is rather successful. Maverick, do you have anything else to say? Ah, so you conquered the great evil! What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. Ha. <laughs> huh. My brother and sister are real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. You know, I felt like it was a lot of fun. It was very tedious and a little bit annoying, but it was fun nonetheless. Hey, Chris, we got you another seashell. Hi, Kel. Hi, Dapper. If you see any seashells, you can bring them to me. They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. I picked it up, didn't I? Oh yeah, what's the daisy? I rolled back, so I don't have it on me. Crap, I better go grab that real quick. That'd be horrible if I left that and everything and it ruined the whole quest for that. 
There we go. Now we can bring it to Chris. Oh yeah, I think it's also worth mentioning that during this blind Let's Play, that was like the first time I ever actually did look something up and everything. And I still, even now, don't know much about the quest line other than the fact that it gave me the necklace. So how I get the other seashells is beyond me. All right, have another seashell. Oh, hey, you found a seashell. You gave a seashell to blue haired girl. Wow, it's such a cute one. Wait, I know her name. Why do I call her blue haired girl? <laughs> actually, I do want to check something real quick. Okay, they weren't here. I was really expecting there to be two cardboard cutouts of them. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's all there is to it. Let's go into Kel's house. Anything going on in here that we need to know of? I'm guessing something to do with Hero being here, finally. <laughs> they hear the door lock. It's like, no way Kel didn't lock the door. Kel, Hero, where have you two been? It's so late and I was worried sick. Sorry, Mom. We got held up. But the good news is that we found Basil and he's safe. I'll have you know I spent all week preparing chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And <laughs> it's gotten cold. Truly tragic. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what my coins are for. <laughs> my poor dinner. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, chap. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. There's no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've all missed you so much. Uh, we are? Oh, it sounds like Sally. Oh, it's a baby. Yeah, I forgot there's an embryo in the house. Sally's awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must hun be hungry. Go on. Help yourselves for dinner. I am kind of peckish right about now. Cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Sally ho, gents, I want some roast chicken. Oh, it must be on the table. Ah, there it is. Wow, that's a chunky chicken. Look, Hero, we've got your favorites. Some chocolate chip cookies and a big ol' Hero sandwich. Ah, oh, how sweet. It's exactly like the same as last year. Gonna eat the chicken? Ah, oh, hell, I just ate the whole chicken. But it's cold. You can heat up using the microwave. All right, let's go. I don't think that chicken's gonna fit in there, but whatever, man. Phew! Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Dapper. It really has been too long. Oh, and it's good to see you again too, Cal. So, Dapper, I heard from Mom that you've been moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, it is! Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you've gotten used to it. I think it would be good for you, Dapper. That's kind of cool. I, I like what he's doing there. He's really trying to put Dapper in his face, or <laughs> he's really trying to put Sunny in his perspective. Like moving away helped him a lot, you know. Kind of. That's cool. I like that. You learn a lot in moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but uh, it'll be okay as long as we can keep in touch. I sure as hell hope so. At least that'd be kind of sad. Ah, uh, we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I'll miss those days. Blazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, and the beach. But honestly, what I miss most is hanging out at your place, Dapper. Why don't we go back to my place? You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, and a grand piano. And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse is awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Dapper? I'm guessing not. Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. By the way, Hero, Basil gave Dapper his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album with you? Sure, let's have a look through the album while we eat dinner. Hmm, this is gonna be wholesome. Ta-da! <laughs> Ah, this is so wholesome. I love this. That is such a cute picture. Aw, it's a shame she's all angry now. Mmm, some Orange Joe! Oh, so that's where you're from! I didn't even notice that till now. And then Sunny is just straight up vibing, let me tell ya. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yeah, let's stop for now. I've seen them before. It's too bad some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? 
I'm guessing I know why uh, those ones are missing. You know, it didn't click in my head till now, but uh, none of those photos had Marie in them. Yeah. It's just that, well, Marie isn't in any of these photos. Ah, uh, I just caught on to that too, Hero. Oh, yeah, you're right. She isn't. Uh, still, this photo album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we're all kids. <laughs> Dapper, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea! But you gotta convince Mom first. She's probably gonna be mad about not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. Oh, little baby! Oh, it's so small and punchable! Oh my god! <laughs> what a mess that was! Sally made a little doo-doo, but she'll be all clean now. Ooh, ooh. I fucking hate making baby noises. <laughs> hey there, Sally! Peekaboo! <laughs> Stop it, Kelly, you're scaring her! Ahem. So, uh, hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Dapper's house today, since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back! And it's already so late! What about spending the time with your mom? I'm gonna be here for the rest of summer, and Dapper's leaving the day after tomorrow. You have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for Tiro to be spending time with Kellen Dapper. I haven't seen Dapper around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had a good chance to hang out. I say we should let them. <sighs> Fine then. You boys have fun. But Hero, you better wash the dishes for me next week. Uh, sh sure. <laughs> I guess I'll do. I can do that. Uh, sure. I guess I can do that. <laughs> All right, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's see if Amino brought their loan. <laughs> I don't want to be into a, a snooze out. God damn it. Uh, I, I need to stop crackling up so much. Alright, so away we go. Back to my house. Hey. So I'm glad we got to hang out and everything. And I also feel pretty bad for you leaving mom and law alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and buy some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Yeah, sure, might as well. Oh, hero! <laughs> Why did I get vibes of Sweetheart for a second? Ah, oh, god. Oh, Hero! Always a mama's boy. It's really so you can buy stuff, fix it yourself, or what you're interested in. Oops, before I forget. Tapper, here's some money for my mom's flowers. You didn't think I'd let you pay for it, did you? Oh, how responsible. Got $10 from Hero. Wow. <laughs> Mom's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off in my place, Tapper. I didn't know that I could buy flowers. I have an idea for tomorrow. I have a really good idea. At least I hope the game will allow me to do it. Hmm. It looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. That sounds good to you. Alrighty. Let's get them flowers. That's Kel's room. Oh. It's time to prove who's taller once and for all. This again, Kel? I thought we were over this. Come on, hero. Let's stand back to back like always. <laughs> no, Zapper. Which one of us is taller? I couldn't tell the difference. If I had to assume, you know what, just for your ego's sake, I'm gonna say you. Haha! <laughs> Looks like I'm finally taller, brother! Wow. My life feels so complete, yet so empty. <laughs> uh, I guess you've really grown up while I was gone. <laughs> it's too bad your grades are all still coming up short, though. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's uncalled for, hero. Smart at start everything. <laughs> I was just teasing you. I think you're smart too, Kel. Smart in your own way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. There's the fetus, hello. Ah! Oh my! The charm! Hello, Mom. I got you some flowers. They're beautiful! Thank you! <laughs> Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. I'm sorry for overacting earlier. I know Dapper's moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make when you're older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. <laughs> well, we'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Dapper. I know that you'll always have a home. Alright, looks like it's time to go to our place. Yeah, we can't go anywhere else, right? Oh, we can! 
I'm surprised it still allows us to go everywhere. I figured it forced us just to go home. Is there anything else around here? Some little cute little kitties. Oh, look at all the cute little kitties. Let's save real quick. Oh, so many cats. So many cats. That was fantastic. I'm happy that we went here just for the cat's sake. Wow. It just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house. Even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Let's go inside. After you, Dapper. Whoa, the place is cleared out, Dapper. Your house feels a lot bigger now that there's nothing's here. There used to be a couch here, and there we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend, watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, I remember hearing that in the mementos. Yeah, and this stain is from... Oh, that's what the stain is from! <laughs> that's amazing! Marie got so mad at me. Oh, that's because there's some cats stepped in it and walked all over the place. <laughs> oh, yeah, huh? Oh man. It looks like it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can go back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm down for that. Wait, I have an idea! What if we just stayed over here for the night? It's gonna be our last time in the house forever, right? And when will be the next time we can spend the night with Daffer like this? I'd love to, but... Mom's not gonna be happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because of Sally's crying anyways. You're gonna wash the dishes with Mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. They live right next door, and so it's only a walk away. Hey, you wanna do my dishes real quick? Looks like you still have some chores to do before you're moving away, Dapper. Don't worry, I can handle it. Are you serious? I never know what to do with myself in the mornings anyways. Just think of it as a parting gift. Aw, thanks, bro. Wow. That's fucking great. Uh, can I go in this room finally? Oh, I remember this hallway. Closet was to the left. And the piano room was to the right. Oh, so it wasn't Marie's room, it was the piano room. But I'm guessing that Marie played the piano. I wonder if the piano's still there. I'll go ahead on ahead and see. I want to go in myself, can I? Yeah. Hmm, yeah, I kind of figured that much. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Oh, don't judge me too hard. I'm just fucking Mozart, aren't I? Show up. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Dapper, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. Guess you already backed it up. It was a song you used to play with Marie. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two play it over and over. We'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? Check the piano itself. Grand piano, the word Amori is etched across the center. Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Ah, uh, man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it that at night. That sounds good to me, but I have to get up early for the morning jog anyway. So you jog in the morning? Bro, this is unreal. This is nothing like you in the dream world. <laughs> oh, where should we sleep, Dapper? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember when you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Kel. Wait for me. All right, let's get some from this bedroom. The room. Hmm, yeah, not like that. Never like that. Not gonna like that. That's a big no for me, Chief. Oh yeah, so I was gonna say that uh, I did get on recording too. When I was rolling back to do the whole, like, uh, hooligans fight again, uh, I did run into a secret room. Apparently, if you read all the notes and everything, you, you unlock that little secret room. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I fucking called it too! I was ready for it and everything, you saw me getting ready to fight. Oh my god. Ah, oh, this fucking game, I swear. Fuck you. God, why do you gotta hit me like that? I just woke up and chose violence, didn't ya? God damn it, Marie. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna fucking go to my room now. Oh wow, they already set up a nice little sweet penthouse, didn't they? Hey, Dapper, we built a pen fort. <laughs> if you don't mind. This was all Kelp's idea. I had nothing to do with it. 
By the way, Hero, Dapper and I got you a gift. It's a Papa Chips chip off the mold block cookbook. Oh man, that was such a tongue twister again. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It seems so silly now. Oh, you're not in the culinary school or anything, damn. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, Hero. Ah, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But, you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? Mm -hmm. You do have a good point, Kel. So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. <sighs> You're asleep? <laughs> How do you fall asleep? I wasn't even paying attention. He's such a fast sleeper. Always has been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Dapper. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Marie. Oh, don't worry, she's still here. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now, but it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Fucking onions, I swear! Ah! Yeah, okay, hold on a sec. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. Good night, Tapper. I'll talk to you in the morning. Alright, nighty night, guys. Guess it's time to sleep. Actually, can I wake them up? There's no room in here for you. Aw, oh, well, that sucks. Would you like to sleep? I suppose so. Good Betty Buys, night boys. Good Betty Buys. Or maybe not. You never know with this game, God. Oh, we're back here. <sighs> Straight up vibin'. Hey, I have a shirt on now. He looks tired. Oh, hey, me. How's it going? Eh, not much, you know. Oh? I hope I didn't do something wrong, oh god. It's very bright. That's weird. Oh, it scared me for a second there. Why does the music sound wrong? The music sounds wrong! I don't like where this is going. Ooh. No one's here. Oh! And he locks the door. He's like big yikes on that. Yeah, I don't like where this is going at all. Not one bit. Waiting for something to happen. Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah, I'm waiting for my daily allowance, bro. Give me my clams. Ah, uh, cheapskate, I tell you. Cheapskates everywhere. I'm guessing everybody is out here vibing. What's going on? No one's with me, no one's here, I'm alone. You're all alone. Do you want to play hide and seek? Yeah, sure. Four, three, two, one. Go. Who am I finding? Oh, the mirror. <laughs> Found you. Yeah, sure, let's play again. What happened to everybody? I'm actually kind of curious now. Shit, this is, this is a sudden change of events. Yeah, I did not like where that was going. The moment I heard that music, I was like, something is not okay. Whether it's me or the world around me, I don't know yet. But it's probably a fi mixture of both. I think I'm done playing. Thank you, though. As much as I'd love to explore this, and as much as I'd love to see everything that's going on in this world right now, and at least in the dream world, I sadly have to end this right here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video nonetheless. I actually had a blast at Fairway Town this time around, and I really wish I would have explored a little bit more of it in the previous episodes. But, you know, you can't change the world. The world keeps on progressing after all. There's not much we could do about that. But we can make the most out of every single day that we see such as reuniting with some good old friends. But if you guys did enjoy, maybe leave a like or comment, or just maybe even subscribe if you want to. Get a little special, Get dip your toes into the channel, you know? Anything else. But honestly, at the end of the day, all I can ask is that you have a wonderful night tonight. And as always, stay dapper.